Today we're going to be looking at the Black Hawk Tatang. As you can see, it's a massive knife. It has an overall length of 13 and a half inches. The blade length itself is 8.6 inches. And the blade is made of 1085C high carbon tool steel. So it's going to have a very long lasting edge to it. And it's going to be very, very durable. You can get this with either a straight plain edge or you can have as you see here a partially serrated edge like I have on this one. Your average price on this is going to range from sixty to a hundred dollars depending on where you find it. It's got a nice epoxy coating to it so it feels very comfortable in the hand but it also doesn't feel like you're going to lose it if you had to really swing this thing around or stab with it. As you can see it's got nice texture inlaid into it that helps you keep a hold of it. And then on top of that they also give you plenty of jimping right across the top here. So that way you can hold it like this, you can hold it like this, and you've got plenty, plenty of grip. So let's see how this knife performs. So the point of this is we're going to simulate a human arm. Now, not everyone's skin is going to be this thick when it comes to the point where you cut through the skin, hit muscle, and then finally hit bone. But I think this will give us a decent test as to how well this will do if you actually had to use this on a human. So let's see. So I'm going to start by holding it right here with less weight in the front. I'm going to cut right here. One, two, three. And then for the second cut, I'm going to move my hand to the back of the grip so that we have more weight in the front and more momentum going behind the blade. One, two, three. All right. Let's pull this apart and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm just going to unravel this one section at a time. So there's our first section. There's our first slash. There's our second slash. There's the second copy. First slash, second slash. As you notice, the first slash is getting shallower pretty quick. The second one not so much. Let's go to the next one. Okay, there's that one. Went through again. Next one. Went through. Next one, it went through. We can get the other one out of here. Went through that one. Still a cut there. We still got cuts. Lost the first one. Nope. There's still a little bit of a trace there. Looks like it caught somewhere in here. But the second one is still going. And the second one made it all the way through. Whereas the first one did not. So that extra weight truly does help. And let's look at our pole here. So, I'm not really seeing a nick. Oh, holy cow. There's the second slash. Since the first one didn't go through, we're not gonna see a mark. But the second one went through. So this is the damage from the second slash. The first one didn't make it all the way through when I held it traditionally like you would a normal knife. But when I moved my hand to the back of the handle and allowed the 
weight of the blade and the momentum to carry the blade through. It did a lot more damage and as you can see it wasn't for nothing. It went through and it actually did a little bit of damage to the pole right there. Here in the Destroyer Education Network, we get a lot of opportunities to test out different products and find out if they're really all they're cracked up to be. These are products that we want to make sure will actually work out in the field and won't break down when you need them most. So if you're looking for gear that's going to be reliable and will work properly and won't give out on you, take a look at the Den Gear Store. A lot of the products that we've reviewed are also offered on our website. Just go to www.destroyer.net and click on the link that says buy den gear and that will take you to our website which has a lot of great products ranging from knives to optics different gun accessories tactical gear survival gear you name it 